Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Captures here and today we are playing the Pokemon Amiga Ruby Randomizer Nuzlocke Challenge. In the previous episode we did get our first death which really really sucked but there's not much we can do. Um, we lost our Charmander in which we caught that episode which was a real shame. It was a Kecleon encounter um, and unfortunately we killed it. I uh, will do a quick team recap. So we've got Rebel Trainer. Who is our Scruppy, who's been around for a long time now. I think Reb... No, it wasn't Rebel Trainer, it wasn't our starter. Uh, we've got Agent Ocelot, the Crobat with the Frisk ability. We've got Crystal, the Shiny Venusaur that we caught very early on. Um, Greninja, who was our starter with the Illusion ability. It evolved in the last episode. Uh, Metamech, who is our brand new Metagross. It is our last Pokemon that we've added to the team. Um, we got the Metagress as a cast form encounter, and it has the ability of Serene Grace. And finally, we have Chrisman on our team, um, with moves like Horn Attack, Smackdown, Stomp, and Scary Face. Um, Rhyperiot was another new member of the team that we've only recently brought in. So, let's continue on in this gym. And hopefully we can, uh, get some good progress today. Okay. Sending out a, um, what are they called? A Clawzitza, that's alright. I never really used Clawzitza before. Ever. I know they're not bad in terms of their special attack and water and stuff. As you can see there, they do a little bit of damage. Uh, we will get Rebel Trainer out of here. Uh, we do not want to lose anyone else. So let's send Crystal in. This is a bit earlier than my usual recording time as well. So I am a little bit out of it still because I just woke up probably about half an hour ago to 45 minutes ago. That poison did a lot of damage. And the good thing is we can go for a pedal dance here because it doesn't matter what the next Pokemon is. There isn't anything there. Uh, that is the end of the battle. Now, if that person there only had one Pokemon, that trainer only had one Pokemon, generally speaking, that means that the gym leader will be around that similar level. So I'm assuming that... Oh, we obtained a Sacred Ash. That's really cool. Um, which means that I'm assuming that the gym leader will be around level 30... 32 or 33? That's what I think, anyway. Um, we're just going to do a quick change. We're going to move Chrisman to the front to gain some experience. And we'll take on this trainer. And this guy here is usually a bird Pokemon trainer only. Secret base trainer brand sends out a Puppeter. A Pupeter. I actually like Pupeter, too. Purely for the fact that I like a, um, that I like Tyranitar. Otherwise, Pupitar aren't really a uh, very good Pokemon, to be honest. We'll send out Rayers. This thing shouldn't know any strong moves yet. Thrash, wow. Okay, this thing's got some strength with Thrash. Uh, let's go for a Surf, and hopefully that Surf does good amounts of damage. And there we have it, a one-hit KO. Ray is getting right into it this morning. Ray is grows to level 39, which is awesome as well. Chrisman grows to level 21. And wants to learn the move Bulldoze. Uh, we will teach it Bulldoze. We'll get rid of Scary Face for Bulldoze. Now, Chrisman will be an absolute beast of a Pokemon if we can get it up to some higher levels. Uh, Metamech wants to learn Zen Headbutt. It's a physical type move. Alright, we're not going to need Miracle Eye. I'm going to get rid of Miracle Eye. Okay, and Metamech has learned Zed Heber. Okay. Alright, now this here is like the only one that is a little bit tricky. Alright, that's right. We've got to go back down here. Alright, hang on. How do we do this? Yeah, that's right. No, left. There we are. 
Okay, now let's quickly heal up our team because they're looking a little bit battered at the moment. Uh, we've got a couple of soda pops that we will use. I uh, didn't mean to do that. And we'll use the other soda pop on Rebel Trainer. And I'm pretty sure we've got some super potions that we can now use. Okay. And now I'm just trying to think. Let's move. Let's move Greninja to the front. And we will swap Crystal to the back. So that it looks like we're starting off with a Venusaur when really we're starting off with a Greninja. Thanks to the illusion ability. I really like how they've actually given wind sound effects in this game as well. It sounds really cool. Okay. Whenever you're ready. Is she f oh, jeez, I actually thought she was floating then. I thought she was floating in the air. I think her name's Winora or something like that. Winora, that's right. Okay, so let's take on Leader Winora. Sending out a Cresselia. Wow. What is with these gym leaders having legendary Pokemon? Literally almost every gym leader has had legendary Pokemon. Alright, now the good thing is we aren't actually using Crystal and we are actually using our good old Greninja. So when this thing goes for a Psychic type move, it won't be super effective. Even though it went for Mist, I don't know why it was setting up a Mist. Either way, this thing's going to go for a Psychic type move because it is its strongest, uh, Fight move. Aurora Beam. Oh, okay, that's fine. That's even better. That did nothing to us, because psych, we aren't a Grass-type Pokemon. Why does Aurora Beam hit twice? That's amazing. I just thought Aurora Beam only hit once. Unless it's got an item that makes moves hit twice. I don't know. Okay, and we got a crit then. Hopefully this Surf is enough to take out this Cresselia. Yes, and it is. Raya is coming in clutch against the first battle of this gym. Agent Ocelot, Rebel Trainer, Chrisman. All gain levels. A Stantler. Okay, Stantler's not too bad as well. Um, I don't think that this thing will be able to do anything to Chrisman, I'm hoping. Because Chrisman needs as much experience as he can get. Roll plays fine. Alright, now that we've swapped Chrisman in, we'll get him out again. And we will send in... Who can we send in for this? Let's send in Metamech. And we will Mega Evolve him too. I wonder if she's going to have any Mega Evolve Pokemon. Purely for the fact that... I think in this game, she does usually have the Mega Evolve... Uh, what is it? The Mega Evolve Altaria. Alright, we're going for a Mega Zen Hobot. And there we have it, there is our Meta Mech, the Mega version of the Metagross. That's a lot of Metas. Now hopefully we don't hear ourselves. There we are, we've got Zen Headbutt, we connect. And he does really good damage. Dark Aura is fine. We'll go for another Zed Headbutt. Hopefully we connect as well. Uh, unfortunately, Metamech hit itself. Hopefully Metamech snaps out this turn. Okay, unfortunately it doesn't hit itself twice. Third time's the charm, Metamech. Go for it. Alright, thankfully it snapped out of the head, uh, the confusion. Goes for the Zen Headbutt and takes out that Stantler. Okay. Ooh, a Klefki. Um, This thing's part fairy type. Which means it won't do well against steel type Pokemon, I believe. Maybe that's not the case. I can't remember, to be honest. Oh my god! Mm, are you serious?
That sucked. Oh. This game is actually getting hard. How does this thing have foul play? And how come foul play did so much damage to us? Oh, that's right. And it's fairy type, so I can't even use poison type moves against it. I've actually got no idea about fairy types. I'm, I'm struggling hard. That just really sucked that we lose, uh... That we ended up losing our, um... Metamech. Oh, this thing's part steel, part fairy. That's the reason why. I think it's part steel, part fairy. I don't even know. All I know is that this thing's... Being a real pain. And I can't believe that we actually lost a Metagross to a Klefki. Alright, well, the good news is it doesn't have any, uh... Any Mega Pokemon. Now, this thing's probably going to know some form of Psychic-type move. Even though, uh, Crystal is Poison-type, she should be able to eat one move up and go for a Petal Dance, which will be a one-hit KO. Alright, if we go for a Petal Dance here, it should be a one-hit KO. Yep, yeah, there we are. Alright, well, that was very disappointing to lose two Pokemon within probably 20 minutes of actual game time. Two Pokemon in the same gym, too. From not losing any Pokemon, we've lost two Pokemon now. That sucks. That was a very tainted gym badge to get. To lose a Charmander and a Metagross, that sucks really, really bad. Okay. Uh, I think we're going to need to make, obviously, some changes to the team now. We could possibly bring back our Star Raptor onto the team. Um, the only problem is that we... Ooh, is there an item down there? How do we get to that item? There is a... Sorry, yep, here we are. Okay, we got Grass Knot, which actually isn't a bad Grass Knot move. Alright, we're gonna go to the PC and unfortunately deposit Metamech. It's a very short lived Metamech, I apologize about that. Okay, uh, let's get rid of Metamech and put it into the box 7. And we are going to withdraw. I mean. Hardkeep is probably not a bad Pokemon to add to the team. I don't want to add any of the grass type. Sableye, which is Dark Ghost, probably isn't a bad Pokemon to add either. I'm pretty sure there's actually one more encounter that we can get. If I remember correctly... Oh wait, we need to heal up first. Or have we healed up already? No, we haven't healed up yet, I'm pretty sure. Alright, we'll just quickly heal up. Okay, now I'm pretty sure we can actually get one more level 35 encounter around here, can't we? Due to another Kecleon encounter in the area? Or maybe not, maybe they changed it. I thought there was another Kecleon around here. Oh, uh, maybe it was in the old games because... Yeah, I'm pretty sure there used to be Grass Patch up here as well. Or is it down here? This might be just a big waste of time. Nah. Alright, no more Kecleon encounters. That's fine. Uh, we will just make our way. I think we will add Star Raptor to the team. So, we did learn thanks to Super Saiyan Blue that Gramble will get a fairy type move at level 40 something. Um, 43, I think it was, with Play Rough. You know what, it's not that far off. Alright, we will bring... We do have Celebi on our team too. Yeah, alright, we're gonna bring... We'll bring uh, our Star Raptor onto the team. Um, what I actually want to do now... 
Have we got the TM for fly yet? I'm oh, sorry, the HM for fly. Okay, we do. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is let's teach Buzz our Star Raptor to fly. All right, and we're gonna get rid of Endeavor. Okay. Now that we've got Buzz there, let's fly back to Verditurf Town. Okay, now that we're back in Verditurf, let's see how our Pokemon that we put in the daycare are actually going. Our backup Mon, because we do have our Swablu here. And we have done a fair bit since then. I was about to say, don't tell me we didn't put any in. Okay, so we've actually got both of our Pokemon up to level 30 and 27. Uh, that's... Yeah, alright, let's get both back just to... Uh, okay, we've got to deposit our Pokemon first. Alright, so we're just going to deposit... Our first two Pokemon here. This isn't going to change on the layout purely for the fact that these aren't actually joining the team. We're just getting both the Pokemon back. Okay, so Trainer Hugo has gone up by 20 levels, which is really good. And Beagus has also gone up by about 20 levels. So let's have a quick look. We've got Trainer Hugo, our Ferrothorn, who... Is that level 30? Uh, finally knows Gyro Ball as well. Now that's really good because, as you can see, he is a slow boy. Mirror Shot and Pin Missile, not bad moves. Uh, plus, Heat Proof weakens the power of Fire-type moves, which is really good. We've also got Swablu, who's got the Wonder Skin ability. Makes status moves more likely to miss. Um, unfortunately, doesn't have the best move pool as of yet. Um... I wonder what level it evolves into an Altaria. I'm just going to do some quick research. Just bear with me one sec. A quick Google search will tell me. So if I type in Swablu Evolution. Okay, so Swablu evolves into an Altaria at level 35, which isn't too bad. Um, because the thing as well is if we can potentially get a Mega Altaria. That is a Dragon Flying type, which isn't half bad. Although a Ferrothorn is a pretty cool Pokemon that I've never really had to use before. So it might not be a bad idea getting a Ferrothorn onto the team. All right, anyway, we do need to make some changes. So I think if we, considering we still have Crobat on the team, who's a flying type, You know what, let's put Ferrothorn onto the team. I've never really used a um, Ferrothorn before, so Ferrothorn is going onto the team. Um, and we will withdraw Greninja back to the team, who is our starter, and he will always be on the team. Um, so yeah, we've uh, replaced our Staraptor with our Ferrothorn. Um, and we will continue to be on our way now. Now, the only problem is I just realised that we no longer have... Oh, yes, we do. We've got Buzz on our team still. Okay, we need Buzz anyway to fly back to... Um... Fortree City. So, we're going to fly back to Fortree. Okay. And now we've just got to make some quick changes again. So, this is where we deposit Star Raptor. And we bring back on Agent Ocelot. Okay. And we will continue on our journey now. With our brand new team members. Or team member. 
it have been a real shame that we uh, could have caught in a Charmander or a, Char a Charmeleon there as well. Alright, so let's battle this trainer here. He sends out an Arbra. Rebel trainer could probably stay out for this Arbra. I mean, it is an Arbra. And it will only have teleport. Hopefully, no psychic up moves just yet. And an Electros. That's not a half bad Pokemon. Okay. I really want Rebel Trainer to hurry up and evolve. Alright, let's bring in Trainer Hugo for his first battle. Alright, as you can see, that did nothing. Uh, even though... I'll go for a Pin Missile. Crunch does nothing as well. Pin Missile does decent damage to the Electros. Um, go for a Bulgara Ball. We are quite slow, even though that doesn't do much. Oh, that was a crit. Well, wow. Alright, let's just go for... A final pin missile. Alright, I'm risking it. Alright, good. Alright, that there was Pharaoh Thorn's uh, induction, introduction to the team. Uh, Worry Seed. A seed that causes worry is planted in the target. On the target, it prevents sleep by making the target's ability insomnia. Okay, I don't know why that would be good. Yes, we want to give up on that. Okay, um... Anyway, we kind of do need to heal up our team. Do we have... Potions? Alright, we've got a hyper potion. Alright, and we will continue on our way. There are quite a few trainers around here. I actually thought that these were two separate routes, but I was wrong. Okay, a Magnemite. Um, we will need to get out of here for this Magnemite. We still don't have anything to do with uh, electric or... Electric types? Or um, steel types just yet, unfortunately. Oh jeez, that would be a long battle if that is the only thing that we can do. Surely there's another Pokemon that can do something. Alright, we'll send out Crystal. Can we leech seed this thing? Yeah, alright, good. We can't poison it though. Oh wow, that was a crit. Alright, that was a bit scary. Alright, let's heal up Crystal quickly. We'll use a Hyper Potion. Alright, now I'm hoping that if we can risk it and go for a pedal dance, it'll be enough to finish this thing off. Alright, and it is. And then secret base trainers are pretty damn strong sometimes. Okay, we can potentially get something here. Let's see what's behind this area. Okay, just berries. You never know if you'll need them or not. It's highly unlikely, but still. Namolga. Uh, thankfully, this isn't doesn't matter because Namolga is a pretty trash Pokemon. Nuzzle, really? I have to go for the paralyzed, don't you? All right. Well, thankfully, Namolga has gone down. Unfortunately, we do have to uh, heal up now. Paralyzed here. We have plenty of them, thankfully. Um, and just looking at the time. We still got a bit of time today. Um, ooh, a Skeptile. Uh, poison type moves should be super effective, I think. Yep. Uh, anyway, if we get one more Poison Fang off, that should be enough. Take out this Skeptile, and it is. Rebel Trainer grew to level 38 and wants to learn Night Slash. Um, Night Slash probably isn't a bad move to have. I think when it evolves, it loses its bug typing, so that's the reason why I actually did that. Okay, and we... which way do we have to go? Yeah, no, we... Okay, there's an item over there, we'll grab it. 
is damn emulgers. Oh, okay, the effects of weather have now disappeared. Let's go for a poison fang in hopes that this thing doesn't kill us with a shockwave. Use soap potion quickly. Being lucky we didn't uh, try to swap out just then, because we probably would have lost Rebel Trainer. And if we lost to a Mulga and a Clef Key today, I would have been raging. Oh, we found a Nugget. That's actually a good item. This is a massive rare. Oh, oh an Embor. That would have been cool to have on the team as well. I would have minded that. Alright, we'll send in Rayers. Oh, wow. That Surf did good damage. Okay, I think that... If they're... I'm hoping that we can actually get another Ember. Okay, and this is where we got the huge crew coming along. Uh, what happens if we do... Oh, if we go for Bulldoze, it hurts everyone. We should be able to survive, surely, one set of attacks. Oh, I didn't know there was a Togetic here, though. Alright, Charmeleon is down. These Fury Swipes are doing a little bit of damage. Metronome is, uh... Doing a bit of damage. Oh, okay, thankfully it only went for uh, nothing good. Alright, we'll go for a smackdown on the Moltres. I think the Moltres is the biggest threat. There we are. Moltres is down and out. This charm's going to annoy the hell out of me. Alright, I think we go for the Toga Tick next with another smackdown as well. Oh, of course it goes for Yawn, really? Alright, I vote that we swap into Rayers and go for a Surf. Of course it goes to Confusion. Alright, Surf, come on, connect, connect, connect. Really, Togetic, you avoided it? How did that thing avoid it? Alright, and Togetic is down and out. Alright, Chrisman wants to learn Chip Away. It does quite good damage. It does better damage than Horn Attack, so we will swap it away. No, oh, come on. We literally moved two steps just then. Wow. Okay, I say we go for a Bulldoze, which is only going to hit two of them. Alright, we'll go for a Smackdown. Let's take out these Moltresses first. Hopefully this Heat Wave doesn't do much. We really need the experience for our good old Christmas here. Alright, that's one of the Moltresses down. Oh, come on. Don't go for the Yawns. They're the ones that annoy me. Alright, we should be able to get another take out this Moltres, thankfully, this turn. And it goes for Sport. Ugh. <sighs> Alright, that sucks. Alright, we'll Super Potion on Chrisman quickly. Can, why is this thing still going for Yawn? Come on, really? Alright, we'll use an Awakening. And if this thing goes for Yawn, I am actually going to Rage. So please don't go for Yawn. Oh, thank you. Sweet kiss, which is another painful move. Alright. Moltres will go down this turn. As long as it doesn't metronome into Spore or something stupid. I know what Fairy Lock does. Oh, we aren't able to run away. Lovely. That's fine. Chrisman should be able to do this. I'd be very surprised if he can't. Charm is also a hell of a lot of an annoying move, but anyway... And it goes for the Yawn. Hopefully these Bulldoze will finish them both off. Extremely unlikely. It should kill the Charmeleon though. Wow, and it didn't even kill the Charmeleon. 
Alright, an awakening. And lastly, I'm hoping that we've only got two bulldozers left, tops. And yeah, Charmeleon avoids the attack. What is going on? This is super frustrating. Alright. Let's go for chip away on Taurus. And again. And again. Alright, now let's get out of this grass so we don't have to face this amount of Pokemon again. Alright, thank you. Well, I think we should quickly heal up Chrisman. Imagine if we didn't have the speed up on. Wow, well, yeah, that wouldn't have been bad. Alright, um. We'll take on this trainer quickly. There is a swimmer, Carlos. Um. We will swap out. This thing will probably know, I dare say, a fighting type move. Let's send in oh, Agent Ocelot. Revenge, eh? Alright, we'll go for a Poison Fang. We don't need to use items anyway, that is fine. And let's go for a Acrobatics. And Zangoos is down. Chrisman gains through a couple, a level to 26. Uh, we'll go for an acrobatics against his dealing. Will be a nice, easy one hit KO. Agent Ocelot grows level 39. Trainer Hugo to 33. Getting some good experience for our team. Um, let's not worry about that trainer. Route 121. Have we caught a Pokemon on this route yet? No. We couldn't have. Alright. Stop running from me. Okay. Do you think Chrisman can kill a Spoink? Okay. Okay, again, come on. That's fine. Alright, Chrisman actually gets his first proper kill in battle. Alright, we will not stay in for this Savine. We get Leech Seated, that's fine. This is going to be over this turn anyway with an Acrobatics. And that Savine is out. Okay. Oh, there's Team Magma Grunts there. Alright, I want to go back here first. A Yarn Mega. Okay, uh, Yarn Megas aren't actually that bad of a Pokemon. Um, I still don't think we'll add it to the team. But let's go for a Mirror Shot. Oh, really? Okay, perfect. Let's throw a ball at this thing. Let's throw a great ball and let's see who we can name this after. Okay, that was really easy. Okay, now I don't believe we've named a Pokemon after Electric Jazz Cat, who is another one of our subscribers and supporters. Um, Jazz Cat is also a PokeTuber as well. Um, I know that he was midway through a Pokemon Gear Nuzlocke not too long ago. Um, I've got to catch up on his episodes too, unfortunately, because I do have to catch up on a fair few people's. Oh, hate more. Heatmore might be a Pokemon that Chrisman can actually take on as well. I wonder if we can take it out. Alright, thank you. Alright, we took out that Heatmore nice and easily. So, Chrisman gaining a little bit more experience. This lady gave us super potions. We could have got a Suicune. Of course. Would have rather to Suicune. Oh, not really. Yes and no. We're not going to add the, um... We wouldn't have added Suicune to the team anyway. Dust? Really? Okay, thankfully... We took out that Suicune. It should have given us some decent experience too. 
Alright, and we can get an encounter in Lily Cove as well. Except it doesn't look like there's much good in here. I just wonder if surfing... Oh. Oh, wait, we have a battle now. Okay. I thought we had to battle her up there, not here. Oh, a Caracosta. Okay, so let's stop speeding up for this battle. Um, taking out this Caracosta, we have Crystal who will do some really good damage. We're almost making it to the 40 minute mark as well. Um, so we do have a little bit more time in this episode. We might be able to get some of the, um, the Ghost's Tower or whatever it is done. Uh, we will go for a Razor Leaf. We can't get locked into a pedal dance this early on. Smackdown is not going to do anything to us at all. We'll go for another Razor Leaf and finish off this Caracosta. Okay. Crystal grew to level 41. Chrisman grew to level 28. Hugo grows to level 34. A God of War. Okay. We need to get out of here. We really don't have much that can take on psychic type Pokemon. Although Steel is good against Fairy. Which I'm pretty sure God of War is in this generation. And is that Mega Evolved or is that not Mega Evolved? Okay, that didn't do much. Let's go for Gyro Ball. We should be quite a bit slower. Okay, and this should do really good damage, I'm hoping. Oh, almost 1 KO. Alright, I think we better heal up and play it safe. I'm assuming that she's going to heal up as well, which is fine. Because we had to swap in. Okay, May did not heal her up. That's a bit interesting. Okay, uh, we will go for another Gyro Ball, and this Gyro Ball I'm hoping will be enough. Okay. There we have it. There goes the Guard of War. Trainer Hugo coming in clutch of that battle. We really wouldn't have had too much else against that thing if it wasn't for... Why do we want to learn haste for... No, we don't need haste. We'll keep the old moves. Give up learning haze. And a quag's eye, eh? Yeah, I'm just scared that this thing here might have a ground type move. Let's get Trainee Hugo out of there. Um, let's send in Agent Ocelot. Quag's eye is such a dopey looking Pokemon. I don't know anyone whose favourite Pokemon is a Quagsire. And it did have Earthquake, like I kind of thought it might. Alright, we'll go for a Poison Fang against this thing. These things are pretty bulky too, so we really want the poison to come off, and thankfully we get it. Alright, now it's going for the Yawn, which is going to be really, really annoying. Alright, let's go for a Confuse Ray. If it wants to fight uh, dirty, we will also fight dirty. Sorry, I had something in my ear just then. Okay, it's out now. All right, now that we are asleep, we will just let the poison take place. I'm hoping that the confuse rate did connect, and it did. So hopefully, it just hurts itself. Slowly withering itself down with the poison and the confusion. Um, and let's go for a steel wing because we're probably... Oh, she's going for the withdraw. That's an interesting tactic. Oh, okay. And a unpheasant. Alright, we'll go for poison fang. Oh, uh, really? It's going to go for detect. Of course it is. Alright, we got the poison off. It's going to go for Taunt. It wants to get hit again, so we will hit it again. That's what it wants to do. That's what we'll give it. This Poison Fang will bring it in Poison Range, I reckon. 
Ah, oh, it's got roost though, of course it does. Thankfully, the poison is slowly withering away at the unpheasant. And we will continue to go for poison fangs. And the next one should kill. So we should be right to go for a poison fang here, and that should be the end of the- What? Wow, really? Right. Hopefully this is the last one then. There we are. Alright, the unpheasant is down. Christmas wants to learn Rock Blast. We will teach it Rock Blast. What can we get rid of? Alright. And this Quagsire will go down after another Poison Fang as well, I reckon. Ugh. Go for an acrobatics. Alright, thankfully the Quagsire is down and out. That was a very long battle. Trainer Hugo wants to learn Ingray. Now this could be very, very useful. Alright, I'm going to get rid of Pin Missile. Now, Trainer Hugo is purely going to be our Steel-type Pokemon, so... We've got no Grass moves, obviously, against or with it. Um, but the good thing is, with Ingrain, it could actually really help us out. Oh, okay. I was meant to say yes, but anyway. Okay. Now... We're 43 minutes in. I'm going to go until at least 45. So let's bear with us a little bit. Okay. Uh, we will run away from this battle. Because we really couldn't do too much against any of those Pokemon. Okay, there's the Suicune out again. Uh, I actually will swap into Venusaur for this, purely for the experience. We will eat up that Bubble Beam as well, and we'll go for a Pedal Dance, which will be a nice, easy one-hit KO. And Suicune is down and out. Uh, I wonder if we can go for... Let's just see if we can go for a, um... Oh, I do not like this matchup for Christmas. Send in Rayers. Oh god, I hope that thing doesn't go for Explode. I'm trying to Hugo. Please don't go for Explode. Alright, that's fine. That is fine. No, not strength. Surf. Hugo can go for an ingrain. Alright, that was good. Play dolls down. Hugo did get a little bit hurt, but that's fine because it is grass type and metal type, which means it is quad uh quad quad resistant, that's right. And we'll go for a Gyro Ball, and both those moves there should do good damage. Psych! Your Ice Ball did nothing. Your Ice Fang did nothing to us. Uh, we'll go for another Smackdown, and we will go for a Gyro Ball again against Glaceon. Oh, that's alright, that's fine. That was enough to take that thing out. Now, let's just have a quick look. I would like to see if we can go into the... Oh, Rebel Trainer is finally evolving. That is perfect timing. Towards the very end of the episode, too. So, we're at the 45-minute mark now. Um, and yeah, thankfully, Rebel Trainer is evolving. There we have our Drapion. Thankfully, finally, we have a fully evolved Pokemon from the Drapion bloodline. Um, let's quickly check out our Drapion, because if it has something like... 
Drizzle ability. It makes the Pokemon makes it rain when it enters battle. It's not great. It's not bad. That is fine still. Um, we've still got the Poison Fang combo. Obviously, its attack is a lot better than its special attack, though. Um, let's just quickly see if we can get our Safari Zone encounter in this episode. It is a Safari Zone, isn't it? Yeah, okay. I thought we had to even at least put a Pokemon, at least throw the ball. Oh, it's a Pidgey. I actually like Pidgey. Um, the only thing is if... I don't know what I'm going to do it against this Pidgey, because obviously... It's a Pidgey. Um... Christmas will probably kill it with anything. I'm hoping Hugo won't, though. Oh, this thing's got... No, alright, we need to be faster than it. Let's send in Agent Ocelot. Alright, that's fine. It drops our attack. That's actually really good. I wonder if a Steel Wing will heal. Kill. Alright, I'll go for a Confuser, eh? Alright. And I'm just going to throw some Grey Balls at it. Oh, there we have it. Nice and easy catch. I wanted to join the team. Okay. And we're going to nickname this Pidgey after... Alloz. I think it's how we spell it. X O S. Yep, that's it. I think it's Z. Uh, I think that's right, Carlos. I hope I've spelled that correctly, mate. If I've spelled that incorrectly, please let me know. All right. So our encounter was a PG. Now I guarantee you that the next. Pokemon that comes up would have been a whole lot better. Okay, we're not going to have to worry about that one because we're not going to know what it is. Uh, anyway, guys, uh, question of the day today is what is your favorite Safari Zone encounter? Um, I will say that my favorite Safari Zone encounter of all time has got to be the Scyther. I used to love trying to catch a Scyther in the Safari Zone and it used to give me hell. But either way, that there is my favorite encounter. Tauros was also pretty cool. Um, you did have options like Chansey as well as uh, Lickitung um, and Kangaskhan, but they used to be super hard to catch as well. Anyway, guys, it's me, Dump, for the day. Uh, again, question of the day is, what is your favorite Safari Zone encounter? Uh, please remember to like and subscribe, and that's me, done. Peace out.